Say hello to Dutch. And you better hurry, because Dutch is dying in a ratty room in Jinan, China. Two weeks ago, this antiquities trader, a.k.a. Tomb Raider, and his sidekick, Kim, struck gold. A thousand-year-old Jin Dynasty warrior statue. It could fetch a million on the antiquities black market. Cultural patrimony, the objects themselves, belong to the country in which they're found. Looters are just ripping it out of the ground and selling it. From the most simple objects like little black and white pots in the American Southwest to tombs in the Valley of the Kings. It's rampant wherever there are material objects and there's a demand for the objects. Dutch didn't believe in curses. He believed in purses. Look at that. Two weeks later, Dutch was dying, and it wasn't from any curse. Leaving the cave, the thieves suddenly realized they had company. got the statue and a little something extra from the bats, the SARS virus. In 2005, when the SARS epidemic broke out in Southeast Asia, the horseshoe bats were classified as a natural reservoir, which means that virus is with the bats at all times. And it doesn't kill the bat, but what it does is it jumps species to species, so it jumped from the bat to humans, and it killed humans. It was real severe. When the bat bit into Dutch, the SARS virus entered his bloodstream. It attacked his lungs, shutting down the alveoli, the tiny sacs in the lungs that exchange oxygen for CO2. The lungs collapsed, filled with blood, and then Dutch was a gun. Dutch chose the life of a tomb raider, but in the end, he got jonesed.